Welcome to Codebolt. Today I'm going to be taking another look at my home system setup and specifically I want to install Node-RED um, and try and use that to configure some of the actions I've got um, on especially my Zigbee devices. Um, so let's have a look. Um, here is my home assistant setup, uh, my dashboard. So to install a new, uh, I forget where it is, add-on. Uh, we click on settings. We need to go to add-on to run the extra application. You can see the ones I've already got installed. We're gonna go for no, we're gonna go to the add-on store first. And we're gonna search for node red. Uh, so this is flow-based programming, uh, and you can see a bit of a, a picture of what it's going to look like here. So we'll hit the install button, and that should install. Okay, now that's installed, we can see we've got start and boot. Um, I like to have the watchdog enabled, especially for things that are going to run um, actual automation. Um, I want it to auto-update, and I also want it to show in the sidebar, uh, which means it just appears over here. So we'll start up Node-RED, and hopefully that will start although uh, add-on is stopped why is add-on stopped let's look at the logs oh started successfully started successfully configuration not complete okay so what we're going to need to do is going to go need to go to this uh, configuration tab what first of all what does it want it says please uh, be sure to set the credential secret option okay SSL has been enabled using the SSL option, which requires SSL certificate file configured. Okay, so I think, at least for now, I'm just going to disable the SSL options. Um, but we will add a credential secret. So let's go configuration. Credential secret. It looks like we can read this back out. So I think I can just put any old, any old string in. Um, Big old keyboard mash. See if that's happy. Uh, SSL for now. I'm going to turn off. Um, we might look at how we can add SSL to this later. That was the two things it was complaining about. So what I'm going to do is go back to the info tab, and I'm going to try and start her up again. So once again, we'll go to the logs. We will refresh. So this is all successfully stopped. Successfully stopped. But just looking at the time, I can tell that happened uh, when I just tried to start it. Um, Interesting, it's complaining about the same things. So let's go back to the configuration tab. Still not liking our credential secret. Let's, uh, let's put in our super secret password. Uh, turn off SSL. And how do we save these options? Press the save button. Everybody, remember the save. All right. Let's try that again. We'll go info, start her up, and let's view the logs. Okay, this is looking better. There's definitely less red on this screen now, which is uh, generally what I look for when running applications. Welcome to Node Red. Okay, this is a good start. I like the sound of that. So hopefully we can click on the Node Red tab, and we have a spinning wheel of doom. Actually, I don't know if that's doom. Now here we go. We're loading up. Welcome to Node Red 3. Let's take a moment to discover the new features in this release. Yeah, I suppose we should. Wow, you can now right click. Woohoo! <laughs> Exciting. Uh, oh. yeah, that's interesting. Being able to wire stuff. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'll read that later. All right, let's figure out how this works. Yeah, so I've got this button under my desk, which you should be able to see a picture of on screen somewhere now, maybe in the middle. Um, and I want to use that to be able to turn the light on in this room. So the light in this room, um, I've installed one of the Shelly 1Ls, which are the lightweight ones, don't require a neutral at the switch, which I don't have in my house, so they were the obvious choice. Uh, but what they are is they're a little uh, Wi-Fi relay that sits behind your normal light switch and then allows you to control the light using automation so I just want to be able to when it's get dark and I'm sat on a call in the middle of the uh, afternoon click the button and have the light in the room turn on without me having to uh, stand up and excuse myself so let's uh, let's see if we can figure that out um, this is all new to me um, don't get me wrong I've done a lot of programming in the past but node red is a new thing so what have we got Mm. 
<laughs> I'm guessing it's these home assistant ones or home assistant entities. Here we go. Button. Is it a button I've got? Feels like a button. I want a button in. Um, and I think we can get a debug out. Join those up. Uh, but somehow that needs to know what button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button. I also don't know what the debug thing does. Um, <laughs> click on this button. How do we choose what button? Uh, button here. Type HI button. Node. The, oh. Yeah, uh, you remember the tip? We can right click. Uh, what does this do? Show action list. I don't know what that is. Uh, double click. Oh, here we go. Right. Double click on it. I guess is this. Uh, name. I'm going to call this uh, Office Button. And that is, I think, the name of the entity, but uh, Entity Config New. Add new config. I don't want to add a new config. I don't think. Hold on. To the Google. Da -la -la -la. Okay, I've read some things, and I think what we want isn't a button. Let's remove the button. I think what we want is something called a event. So I think the uh, the button I've got actually triggers an event. So let's join these up and have a look. Name, office, button. So we definitely want it from Home Assistant Server. Ah, now this has all of my actual entities, which what we want is one called office, uh, office switch. Is it called office switch? Yeah, office switch click. That sounds good. Office switch click. Uh, if state is exactly, exactly, exactly what? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna say if it's not blah 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 blah, and we'll see if we can figure it out. <laughs> state is a string for zero minutes. I'm just gonna enable this and see what happens. How does this debug thing work then? Oh, to debug window. Where is the debug window? Uh, oh, that's a bug shaped picture. Right, debug. What if I click this button now? Nothing. Do I need to deploy? Oh, running. Ha ha. Right, okay, okay. Right, if you weren't following what I did there, because I didn't know what the state, this string was for state, um, I just said, if it's not a random string, then its output will come uh, to debug. What debug seems to do is takes the messages and writes them to this debug console, which you can, uh, you can get to by pressing this button. Now, what I also found out was you need to click this deploy button before it will do anything. But I feel like we're getting somewhere. We're now receiving the button clicks. So what do I want? I want uh, I want it to say single. So I want to say if this is the string single, which I assume is a single click. Done. Then rather than well, let's just test that. Let's deploy. Successfully deployed. So if I now single click that button, it is running. Still running. Is that working? I don't know if that's working. Uh, how can I clear all these? Can I just delete? Mm. 
gonna click the button again. Maybe it didn't deploy fast enough. There we go, okay. So when I click that button, it says single. And then if I click it again, single again. Okay, it just hadn't deployed. Um, I was a bit too uh, quick off the mark. Oh, it's not the first person to tell me that. Uh, right. Now we've got that, I think all we need to do is wire that event up to a light switch. Now which thing do we need for a light switch? Listen for all types of events. Listen to state events. But how do we change the state of a thing? Uh, state trigger, state, what's this do? Much like state change node, however, provides some event. Hmm, I don't know if I need advanced functionality. What's a state change node? Ooh, sends a request to home assistant for any domain service available. We can try this one. So we can say domain. How oh, interesting. What will the domain be? It's an entity, I think, or a switch. Is there a switch option? Toggle. Office. The device is going to be Office Light. The entity is going to be Office Light. We've got debug information enabled for now. And we shall deploy it. We'll just give that a second and click. And it says it's turning on. But I promise you it's not. Hey, what's going on here? Do I need a payload? Give it some arbitrary JSON. Q messages don't queue output properties. I don't think we need any of that. We're not using the output. Let's deploy that. Oh, extra keys not allowed. Okay, so it literally doesn't want anything in there. Try again. and click domain switch turn on oh maybe it's a domain maybe it's not domain switch maybe it is domain home assistant ooh maybe that's it done Deploy. No. Try again. Ah, there we go. Right, okay. If you're using these nodes, the domain needs to be set to Home Assistant and then you select your uh, entity. I'm guessing I can remove this because it's, it's really not doing anything, but I'll, I'll leave it in because it's working. So that is just turning on every time I press a button. So what I want to actually do is to toggle the light every time I press the button. So I'm gonna press done and deploy. And press the button, light goes off. Press the button, light comes on. Hold on. Let me uh, get some video of that for you. But there we go, that's uh, that's how we can use Node Red to toggle a button. Uh, I'm gonna change this to be, this flow to be called the uh, office uh, light switch. I don't know, something, something like that. 
Um, perfect. All right then. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe if you like this video, if it was useful. Um, I tend to make videos on home automation and electronics repairs and any other random bits of stuff I'm doing around the house. Um, if you're interested, do hit that subscribe button. Uh, like I say, like the video. Uh, it helps this small, hopefully growing channels. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.